recording, all that good stuff. Um, start, start, blah, 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 stopped off at file store. Um, so the native fire store, wait, what? God, I keep messing that up. I swear that was fire store. File, fire. I mean, good. I was looking up fire a minute ago. Eek. That is file store. Google called file store. Manage file storage service. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. And then, going back to the guide. So this is uh, Google Cloud, the official certified associated cloud engineer study guide on file store now. It's taking forever. Gotta take this test soon. File store implements the NFS network file system. And there's Firebase. Fire store. Uh, so many of the same words. Okay, so now I'm going into databases like Cloud SQL. Uh, uses like MySQL and Postgre. SQL. That's very basic. Um, let's go to Cloud Big Table. Designed for petabyte scale applications. Huge. I think it's still my background back here somewhere if I can get down to it. There it goes. I think I have a bunch of pictures. I just took a bunch of uh, sketch notes, copied them. So if I went to, what's this one? Big Table. Big Table. Big Table has its own sketch note. That's pretty cool. Big Query Verse Big Table. Yeah, that's my like background right now. So, Big Table. We got fully managed petabyte scale non SQL database, non relational, uh, low latency, single digit millisecond, high throughput, 10 megabyte per second write, throughput per node, up to 220 megabytes per second scan, cloud big table, integration with Spark, Hadoop, all those others. Just like data proc. E scalability. We got what is QPS? Oh, queries per second. Uh, resize cluster on the fly without start. Add node to increase QPS nodes to nudes. Failover for high availability. I just love this art. Single multi regional global. Single, multi regional, global. Replication, no manual sets, steps to ensure consistency, repair data, synchronize writes data. How does Cloud Big Table optimize throughput? So, uh, Cloud Big Table separates processing from storage. Each node, each node has access to a group of database rows. Each node has access to database rows. Rebalance load automatically to improve performance. Rerouting. Rebalancing. Oh, here it goes. This is the original setup. And rerouting, cutting that off and moving it over. I have access to a group of database rows. This is the database rows. Resize nodes with no downtime for best overall throughput. Oh, resize the nodes. Okay, so first it was three nodes, now they have four nodes. Awesome. And then we come over here. Use case examples. We got FinTech, AdTech, that's finance. Gaming, IoT. And of course, machine learning, AI, real-time ad bidding platform. Get the other services. 
Oh, okay, so from PubSub goes into data flow. And from data flow goes to everything. Big table, big query, and storage. Storage goes to also big query. Hundreds of thousands, not millions, of QPS queries per second. Billions of page views per day. All right. I love it. It's cool. Low latency, right? Got it, got it. Cloud Spanner is Google's globally distributed relational database. So that's key here, relational database. Let me see if I can get the thing to... Yeah, I got it stuck. <clears> High <throat> ability... Ability to scale horizontally. Gotta memorize that. Like a NoSQL database. And let me check again. What is scaling horizontally? <clears throat> Not vertically. According so to Touchstone Security, scaling resources. horizontally is the same as scaling by adding more machines to a pool or resources, but instead of adding more power, CPUs, or RAM, you scale back to existing infrastructure. Scale back to existing infrastructure. Oh, maybe like a image. <clears throat> Horizontally first vertically. Vertically, horizontally. Vertical, horizontal. That's sort of the visual. Here we go next. <coughs> Spanner is a high availability database with five nines. Oh, forgot one nine. Ooh, that kind of overlapped, didn't it? Sorry. Uh, that's the service level agreement. <clears throat> Making it a good option for enterprises. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. Data store. Oh, this is what I was looking up earlier. Data store. Data store conflicts with fire store. Fire store is kind of a newer, better one, but uh, you can use... Uh, data store if you want. App Engine support. Not support in App Engine standard, but it's like just these few runtimes. Anyways, Firestore is a much better option. NoSQL document database. Um, let's see, flexible schemas. Probably doesn't even have it in here, does it? Didn't have Firestore. Get. Maybe we'll talk about it later, hopefully. SQLite queries. Oh, okay. So it's a NoSQL database, but it can do SQLite queries. Okay. Cloud Memory Store is an in-memory cache service. So we got that. Other databases offered in GCP are designed to store large volumes of data. Let's manage Redis. Here we go. Caching frequently used data in memory. Caches like this are used to reduce the time needed to read data into an application. Hmm. Let's see. If I need to change my microphone, just send that up. <clears throat> Got it. Let me test this later. I need a mic with like just a button on it. That'd be great. Okay, so memory store uh, allows users to specify the size of cache. 
availability, patching, and automatic failover. Okay. Well, that's just what it is. It's just cache. Firestore. There we go. That's what I was talking about. Blah, 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 blah. It should say something about data store. Includes a data store mode. Uh, I'm running a native mode. Provides real time synchronization. Yeah, there we go. And offline support. So that's what you want. You want the native mode, or probably. Enable all of Cloud Firestore's features with offline support and real time synchronization. Data store mode. It's the older version, but you can still use it on top. Behavior on top of Cloud Firestore's powerful storage layer. Okay. Well, I guess they both have their um, strengths. Ooh, beta release. Um, that's what that was. Chapter 12, blah, blah, blah. Okay, we're going to go on networking. VPC. Um, physically located. Thing should feature is that VPC can span the globe without relying on public internet. Securely routed. Mm -hmm -hmm. Just kind of skim through really quick. Oh, without creating a public IP address for backend services. Wait, 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 wait. Your backend servers can access Google services without creating it. Oh, that's cool. Backend services access Google services without creating IP. That's safe. It's really safe. So then no one can use that. Um, and they can be linked on premise. Virtual private networks using IPsec, Internet Protocol Security. Although VPC's global enterprises can use separate projects and billing accounts to manage different departments, firewalls can be used to restrict access to resources. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, load balancing distributes workloads using a single multicast IP address. Uh, let's see, across regions, adaptive failed. Adaptive failed or degraded servers, auto scale compute resources. Load balancing also supports internal load balancing. Uh, so no IP addresses need to be exposed. Never, never, never expose IP addresses. This is a software service that can load balance HTTP. UDP traffic can load balance. Cloud Armor services exposed to the internet can become targets of distributed denials of service. Denial of service. DDoS. Alright, alright. Ability to allow and restrict access on IP address. Predefined rules, cross site scripting attacks, counter SQL injection, ability to define rules at both level 3 and level 7, allows and restricts access based on the geolocation of incoming traffic. That is so cool. Got a friend in cybersecurity, Cloud CDN. Content delivery networks. Users anywhere can request <coughs> content from systems. Um, <coughs> content delivery networks. Low latency response to these requests by caching content on a set of endpoints across the globe more than 90 CDN endpoints that are managed as a global resource. So there's no need to maintain specific region. Okay, no need for specific region configurations. A global resource. Okay. 
Uh, they're important for sites with large amount of static content. Okay. And a global audience. News sites use CDN service to ensure fast response. Okay. Interconnect. Set of GP services connecting your existing networks to the Google network. Interconnects and peering. Interconnect. I'll just highlight that. Direct access allows uh, uh, access to network. Uses the address allocation for private internet standard to connect the devices to VPC. A direct network connection is maintained. Okay, in those many countries. Alternative you know, organization cannot achieve a direct and connect with a Google facility to use partner and connect. Um, Third-party network provider to provide connectivity between the company's data center. Mm, there by the bandwidth. Direct or peer in connect. Google offers VPN services that enable traffic to transmit between data centers and Google facilities using the public internet. All right. Cloud DNS is a domain name service provided in GCP. In name service provided in GCP. Example.com to IP addresses such as this. Service provided. That's kind of funny. Example is example.com. I'm going to check this out. I can't remember. It's my computer broken. Sample.com. Okay. Identity management. Check that again.
Well, here we go. Identity management. That's very basic. Development tools. Excellent choice for developers. Software development kit. GCP also supports develop, deploying applications to containers with container registry, cloud build, cloud tools for IntelliJ, PowerShell, VS, Eclipse, cloud platform management tools, stack driver, collects, extends, logging, error, trace, debugger, profiler. <laughs> Nobody on. 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time. Specialized services in addition to infrastructure as a service and platform as a service has specialized services for APIs. APG. API. APG. <clears throat> Mandarin service for GCP customers providing API access to their applications. Can okay, spike and present routing. It basically be authenticated using either OAuth 2.0 or SAML. APG. Gotta look that up. <clears throat> Just wanna do it over here. What is APG. Let me get some images. Yeah, I got that. 
API Management Predictive Analytics Software Provider. Oh, and it merged into Google Cloud. Okay. Try it free. So you can visualize the Apogee. Oh, wait a second. I should check it out here. <clears throat> APG Start trial. What? Can I get back? Yes. Practice two. Did that not copy? Isn't that hard? Project. Start the name with a letter. Oh, the ID. My bad. You don't have some sufficient permissions. I think I have to log in as that. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. So much work. I'm not doing it. But at least we got to see. It just it manages the APIs. API platform management. Okay. Data analytics. GCP has a number of services designed for analyzing big data in batch in streaming modes. Some of the most important tools in this set of services include the following. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's so basic. Data proc, blip. Data flow, data flows, pipelines, analytics pipelines, big query, petabyte analytics, data prep, uh, prepare data. Very simple. AI, ML, very cool. Exam essentials. Um, know the difference between these four. VM service, which is GPUs, Kubernetes, virtual servers, containers are light, lightweight. Oh, that's cool. Containers are lighter weight than VMs. Very cool, very cool. Orchestration service. <clears throat> Hunter's Health. Scales. App Engines, Google's platform as a service. Developers can run their code in a language specific sandbox. Serverless. And all that good stuff. Love that. Cloud Functions serverless. Uh, short running code, responds to events, triggers, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. node or Python. What is it meant to be serverless? It means customers do using a service do not need to configure. Serverless means do not need to configure, monitor, maintain the computing resources. That's it. it does not mean there is no servers, of course. Just don't have to maintain. Maintenance free. You should call it that. Maintenance free. Object and file storage. Object stores are used. Storage. Object storage is used to store and access file based resources. I'll say object. File based resources. Object file. Object file. D such as the URL. Object stores stores. Do not provide block or file system services. File storage supports block based access to files. 
Files are organized into directories and subdirectories. File store is based on NFS. All of that is really, really important. <sighs> Unique identifier, such as a URL. Cloud storage, SGTP's object storage, service, I mean that, everything here you need to know. Memorize all of this. Object stores do not provide blocker file system services. Cool. Here, this we're getting in the meat. This is like the best part of this. Exam essentials. Oh, huh, that's cool. Compute engine, cloud functions. Okay. Databases. Yeah, yeah. Relationship non non uh, SQL. Support transactions strong consistency in the SQL query languages. Relational data databases have been traditionally difficult to horizontally scale. Hmm. This is really good stuff. Difficult to horizontally scale. Is a global relational database that provides advantage of relational databases with the scalability. Oh yeah, that's it. Previously found only in non-SQL. That's the horizontal scale. That is key. Spanner. Spanner, spanner, spanner. Non-SQL, no SQL databases are designed to be horizontally scalable. Other features such as strong consistency and support for standard SQL are often sacrificed to achieve scalability. Low latency. No SQL databases may be key value stores. Key value stores. Memory store. Talking about is like data store, wide column, big table, VPC. Uh, I got a message. A VPC is a logical isolation of an organization's cloud resource within a public cloud. VPCs are global. They are not restricted to a single zone. All traffic between GPC services can transit over Google's network without the need to send traffic over the public internet. That is key. 
Understanding load balancing, process of distributing a workload across a group of servers, route work based on network level or application level rules, distribute workloads globally. Understand developer management tools. <laughs> Support common workflows in software engineering. They're just telling you all the answers. You just have to memorize all of this. I think I should just skip everything and just read. <gasps> that would really too far. All of the exam essentials. How many times I can like highlight this thing? It's like getting darker and darker. All right, all right. Version control, got it. Building containers to run applications, making containers available. Containers. Okay, management tools. Let's go Kubernetes, yeah. Management tools, stack driver, monitoring and logging are designed to provide this. Administration information with developers. Specialized services offered by GCP. Yeah. And the main difference between on premise and public cloud computing. Yeah. Okay, okay. Hardware may be located literally on the premise of a building or third party co location facility. Provide power cooling with the customers that co location is responsible for all the setup management of the infrastructure. Yeah, I know my friend who actually does that. Public cloud computing uses infrastructure and services provided by a cloud provider. Yes, the big three. The cloud provider maintains all physical hardware and facilities. It provides a mix of services. Mm -mm -mm. I need to read. I need to read it word by word. All of this is important. VMs that are configured and maintained by customers and serverless offerings. Enable customers to focus on application development. Takes some more responsibility maintaining underlying compute infrastructure. Okay, where did everything go? Oh, here we go. Questions. Okay. So, you are planning to deploy a SaaS application, software as a service, to your customers in North America, blah, blah, blah. Software, software, software. To maintain scalability, you will need to distribute the workload across servers. Okay. Implement the workload. Um, I'm pretty sure it's load balancing. Come back and see. You have decided to deploy a set of, well, I could set it side by side. Do I have a load balancing sheet? That'd be cool. Element OP. Uh, nope, there's no load balancing. Which database? What storage? Wasn't there like a. What is PD? Persistent disk. I need to write that out. Persistent disk. Tint. Dang it. I hate when I misspell things. Nick. Network Intelligence Center. I'm getting distracted.
Okay, whatever. Short. Uh, service storage traffic director. Which database now? There it is. Load balancing. A new is in here. Yay! Our applications are hit. Users are growing. That's a good thing, right? Myapp.com How do I choose the right load balance option? So you have these two different clients IPv6, IPv4 External, HTTP Traffic, load balancing, TCP traffic Is the SSL offload? Yes, SSL proxy. No, it's not. Global? Yes, TCP proxy. No. Preserve their IPs? No. Yes. Or just internal. This is internal work. Regional and global. Cool. Best practice. Firewall should be configured to only allow traffic from HTTP load balancing. No direct internet traffic. Okay, this goes all the way around. I forgot to go down here. How do you use global HTTP load balancing? Internet. Global forwarding rule. Target proxy. Packet service. Packets. Firewall rule. It's the last one. Mix. Servicing capacity zone. Okay. Pretty sure that's what it is. You've decided to deploy a set of microservices using containers, of course. You can install manage Docker on Compute Engine, but you'd rather have GCP provide some container management. Let's go to Kubernetes. Kubernetes. Which two allow you to run containers on a managed service? Uh, an app engine. Oh, it's either standard or flexible. Standard and flexible. But here's got standard. Um, in a managed service. I'm thinking flexible. App engine. App engine. Where is that? Precision just. Oh, they got two of them. I do. I got two of them. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Hadoop, Kubernetes, and who are we working with? App Engine. I'm saying flexible, I could be wrong. Your app crashed in production, but it worked on my machine. With container. Container. Hardware, virtual machine is operating system, yes. Container doesn't even need an operating system. Kubernetes. Okay. Manage Kubernetes. Regional control plane, API server. Okay, here is cloud code, repository build, container, GK, and kube control. Mm -mm -mm. No app engine. I need app engine. Storage. That's all of them. App engine. There we go. App 
app engine. All right, so we have two. We have standard and flexible. I'm pretty sure it's flexible that I'm wanting here. I'll just follow this through. App engine win. You want to do all this stuff? Auto scaling. How's it work? Write your code. App YAML deploy. Very easy. Right to the app engine. Standard and flex. Runtime environment for supported languages. There it is. There's Docker containers. Run within Docker containers on Compute Engine. I'll be just run the sandbox. Didn't they say? But you'd rather have Google provide some container management services. You could do it darker on that. Got two things open. Uh, let's see, App Engine Flex with Kubernetes. If this is a test, I would have done flexible. App Engine with Kubernetes. Kubernetes, okay, uh, not versus. Running App Engine apps on Kubernetes. Cool, cool. Different Docker file. Enable the APIs. Key. New. No. Yeah, I thought I had it open. Did I close it? App Engine. I don't want to create anything right now. Hmm. I don't know, what did I do? Just randomly pushing buttons. I'm just gonna continue on. I think it's this one. I think it's flexible. Because I see this here. Just <laughs> flexible is like so many more options. So they're talking about Docker containers on Compute Engine, and here they're saying don't, don't want to use it, but you'd rather have GCP provide it. You don't need flexible, do you? Run containers in a managed service. <laughs> Maybe that's what they just mean. They just mean App Engine Flexible can do it, and Kubernetes can do it. Why would an API developer want to use the App G? Version control? Authentication services? What? I thought is just managing APIs. Authentication services. Maybe it's just this one. It's not, not version control. Managing APIs. Does Apogee have version control? Hmm. There's flexible. Okay, um does app G uh have version control? Apogee proxy version. As per Apogee best practice. RESTful API design tips versioning. 
There's a conflict. There's nothing at all for API versioning. Get more attention. Does it mean that we know? We uh, no need to. Apogee has its own website. Deployment, integration, monitoring. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know. That is a really difficult question. I really don't like this question. Mm. God, I really don't like these questions when they do that. But it says version control of code. This is wrong here. Can I get another color? No, I need a signature. Just wanna, like, no. I wanna put a big X here. Don't think it does that. Whoa, that's a cool X. Playing around with. Oh no, I've destroyed it completely. No, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Not code, maybe of the API. <laughs> the benefits of routing and, oh, authentication. You're deploying an API to the public internet. Your uh, service will be subject to DDoS attacks. Denial. Oh, armor. I'm spacing out here. Armor. You have an application that uses a PubSub message queue to maintain a list of tasks that you're processed by another application. The application that consumes messages from the PubSub queue removes the message only after completing the task. It takes approximately 10 seconds to complete a task. seconds to complete a task. What's cost effective? Consume message. Oh. Give a message of a list of tasks that are processed by another application. I guess it's preemptive VMs. It's not a problem if two or more VMs perform the same task. Data part, data span. That, that doesn't make any sense. It's got to be preemptible. I'd say this one. Your department is deploying an application that has a database backend. You are concerned about the read load on the database server. I want to have data available in the memory to reduce the time to respond to queries. Which GP servers are used to keep data in memory? Keep data. <clears throat> You're concerned about the read load. I want to have data available in memory to reduce the time to respond. Is it memory store? But I'm thinking data store, because memory store is just cache, right? In memory. In memory. Um, so this is 34. In memory. 
doesn't seem right. In memory is right here. Storage functions app Kubernetes. No, no. Mem memory store. <sighs> In memory cache store large volumes of data so that it does store it probably would have got that wrong I didn't think I was to do that caching frequently used data in memory memory it is that's memory store that's the answer That's it. Wow. That's rough. Memory store. It stores data in memory. The cloud SDK can be used to configure and manage resources into the following services. Resources. That's software development kit. Software development kit. What? Oh my god. I don't know. Cloud SDK. SDK. It's a command line, yeah. Configure and manage resources. Is all of them? Manage compute engine networks, firewalls, and disk storage with the G Cloud. Oh, this is just G Cloud. Are they talking about this? Oh, they're just talking about the uh, command line, the editor. Cloud shell, okay. Alright, I guess that's what you call it. Jeez. Yeah, that's everything. Oh my god. Just all. What server configuration is required to use cloud functions? What? That's stupid. Oh man. I'm trying to break my brain. <laughs> You've been as assigned the task of consolidating log data generated by each instance of an application. Which management tool would you use? Consolidating log data. Logging. <laughs> uh, I don't overthink it. Don't overthink it. Just keep going. What specialized services are likely to be used to build a data warehouse platform that requires complex extraction, transformation, and loading and batch data, as well as processing streaming data? What? Specialized.
Authorized services. Um, well, not the SDK. Analytics would just analyze it. It's not extracting or transforming. I mean, but it says here specialized, so I guess it's this one. Your company has developed 100,000 Internet of Things sensors to collect data on the state of equipment in several factories. Each sensor will collect and send data to. Let's just switch, jump to the question. Database project, would you recommend? There is no need to support transactions in this application. Each sensor will collect and send data to a data store every five seconds. Sensors will run continuously. Oh, 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 oh. That's easy. It's just a lot, a lot of data. Big table. Like my background. Real time allows of large data sets. It's a lot of data that's coming in. All right. You're the lead developer on a medical application that uses patients' smartphones to capture biometric data. Okay, which data store option? What data store option? Yeah, this is required to collect data and stored on smartphone when data cannot reliably transmitted be transmitted to the back end application. You want to minimize the amount of development. Oh. This is a uh, reliability transmitted issue. That's spanner. Pretty sure it's Spanner. Yeah. I just thought it was. Wait, what? <coughs> A second, I'm confusing it with something else. Is it Firestore? Fire Store. Oh no. Um, maybe it's this one. The signature features comes yeah, they provide offline support. There's mobile devices. I'm using them for data store. Databases. This is it. Firestore. 
fire store. Um, mobile app. Is this the one? Editing data across mobile devices. Provide offline support synchronization and other features. Hmm. Data store. I don't think it's data store. There's fire store. Hmm. Need to call out strong consistent when reading data. Oh crap, that's the answers. Um, I'm gonna go with Firestore. That was the... Sort of the option earlier. Firestore. Store. Hmm. This is for mobile libraries. Software engineer comes to you for recommendation. She has implemented a machine learning algorithm to identify cancerous cells in medical images. immediate access to large amounts of data. Large amounts of data. Cannot be easily distributed over. Computationally intensive. Many mathematical calculations. machine learning. Just high, high, high. With the GPU. Yeah. 
just put it all on there. It doesn't just give it everything. You're tasked with mapping the authentication and authorization policies of your on-premise application to GPC's authentication and authorization mechanisms. The GCP documentation states that an identity must be authenticated in order to grant privileges to that identity. What does the term identity refer to? A role? Identity must be authenticated. <coughs> to that identity. <coughs> User? User role. Authenticated. I'll say user. What? Not user. <coughs> <coughs> Our client is developing an application that will need to analyze large volumes of text. I'm running out of time. I better check my answers that I've done so far. Oh no. If I can pull this out. Okay, I can. Alright, let's see. Let's go to. That's a weird word right in the beginning. Hmm. Chapter 2. C. Good. To C. This one. Good. <clears throat> 3 is. Please be D. Yes. Four is A. Oh, that's easy. Five A. Good. Six is B. Yep. So, Cloud Memory Store is the only GCP designed to cache data in memory. I put these side by side. Oh man. Speed. Oh, come on. Six, seven. D. All three of the services listed computer engine, cloud storage. <coughs> we managed. 8 is D. Clouds functions as a serverless product. That's why it's saying the configuration. 9. No configuration. 9. The stack driver logging. D. 10 is B. Oh no, I got this wrong. Um, how do I add a symbol? Alright, whatever. <coughs> Data analytics. I guess I highlight this. The data analytics set of specialized services includes products that help with extraction information and loading ETL hum <coughs> the Epigee platform is used for managing yeah I got that analyzing but the services are not 
always helpful for ETL. Yeah, just SK. Yeah, that's nothing to do with it. Mm. Data analytics set. Data analytics set of specialized services. That's so weird. Google when it pops up. Doesn't even pop up. GCP. GCP. It's so vague. Like what? Hmm. Eleven is B. Go back up and hide it. Big table. Yes. Fire store. Yeah, this was a weird one. Mobile database service can synchronize data between mobile devices and serial storage. Spanners, global relational database for large scale. Data store and SQL could not be used, but would require more. Custom development to synchronize data. I don't know like the question, but data store option. Let me highlight this because I think it needs a little more brain. Redact? Redacting anything. Study that some more. What the heck? This thing can be so difficult sometimes. Oops, I gotta go. Is that not highlighting at all? Client fire store. Okay, and then 13 is B. Computation intensive application obviously requires high CPUs, but the fact that there are many mathematical calculations indicates that a GPU should be used. You may consider running this in a cluster, but the work is not easily distributed. Okay, whatever. 14B user. Yep. Alright. I gotta go. I hope someone out there understood and 